Hi, I think it's March 28th, uh, 2011, um, Monday. This is Secours Catholique, which is Catholic Charities, uh, which helped me a lot in New York City. Uh, they took a bunch of uh, abandoned buildings in a very, very, very bad section of Brooklyn, and along with City Corps, of all things, um, gut renovated them and turned them into J51 apartments, and it completely turned the neighborhood around. Um, and I got one of the apartments. Now here we see uh, some signs on the door. Some of them are in English. Uh, bonjour. Uh, attention asylum seekers, we are currently full. Uh, it's spelled incorrectly. We don't give any new domicile, sorry. Demandeur d'asile, nous sommes complets. Nous ne donnons plus de nouvelles domiciliations, merci. And this says, uh, uh, 28 Rue des Aubries is dead. Change your address quick, please. Hi. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour. Oui. Uh, je, je suis en train d'aller au bureau de logement et je fasse une clip. Oui, oui, oui. Bonne continuation. That's what I'm doing. Uh, C'est où Rue de, des Aubries? C'était à Saint-Denis. Okay, vous n'êtes plus là. Okay, right. I think that uh, this uh, is where the office used to be in Saint-Denis, and um, I think some homeless people were using that uh, as their address. Uh, Domicile, Asylum Seekers Department, Monday from 2.30 to 4.30, Wednesdays from 10 to noon. This is about uh, housing problems. Okay, I'm on my way to uh, the housing office to drop off uh, a renewal form uh, for uh, a request for subsidized housing, which I've had going since 2008. It's a big hassle. I have to do it every year with all new photocopies and everything. Uh, my subsidized lawyer lost my dossier. Uh, so I don't have any of the old materials or a reference number or anything. So I really hope this goes well. I've uh, gotten some inquiries from people about what it's like to come over here to uh, Europe and be homeless. And I assure you it's very bad. Uh, don't do it. Okay? Um, I've got to mail something. Yeah, uh, you know, there, the, the, there's a, there aren't food stamps here. There is a food bank called uh, Resto du Coeur, and uh, it doesn't even run during the summer, during the warm weather, for example. It stops, I think, in April, and it doesn't start up again until the cold weather. And um, I have an abusive spouse. I've filled out police reports and everything. I have, there is no shelter for me anywhere in France and it has been recognized since 2008 that my life is in danger. And uh, I have no priority whatsoever um, because I have no child. And uh, there's nothing you can do when your spouse is abusive here. Um, he's, you know, our family doctor can see he's not well uh, and has asked him to see a psychiatrist, but he has the right to refuse that. There's nothing I can do about it. And if he is getting any help whatsoever now, I'm not aware of it. And I don't have the right to know about it. This is, this is the law here. It took me about 10 years to get through to SOS Femme Violence. They are closed on the weekends and holidays. I finally got through to one of them. It took really about 10 years on the phone and uh, they were actually quite nasty to me. So they're really completely useless. You know, if you are disabled, as I am, uh, benefits are means tested. And if you are married and have no child and there's no marriage contract, basically you're just stuck there with him and he can do anything you, he wants to. Now actually my situation was much worse in the United States with my first two husbands who were abusive. Um, for example, uh, my divorce was not final from my second husband because the court lost some papers. And I got pregnant with this husband and I wanted to give the child up for adoption, but under New York State law, I could not do so without the consent 
of my abusive second ex-husband, who I was very afraid of, and it wasn't his child. I also had to uh, pay alimony to my uh, second abusive uh, ex-husband, um, which I didn't do. I, I worked out an agreement with him. I gave him the apartment, the car, most of the money, uh, my antique furniture, stuff like that, and I just fled with my life. He still has my gun, by the way. It's registered to me. This was New York State law. Okay, going.